When I was young, my grandmother had an expression: "You are what you eat." And being just a small child, I took this literally, and used to think that if I ate too many nuts, I'd become a nut job or something like that. And it wasn't until I got older that I realised that what Grandma was really saying was that you only get the amount of energy out of the amount of nutrition that you have. Now, of course, in modern life, there is another way of expressing this, and that is garbage in. And garbage out. So, if you just eat a lot of junk food, then you're not going to have a lot of energy. Now, what do I mean by junk food? Well, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to define junk food like this. Basically, junk food includes things like processed foods, and these are foods that are high in corn syrup and high in processed sugar. They also have a lot of simple carbohydrates, and so for things like that, I mean things like potatoes, potato-based products, particularly fries or chips, and white bread、uh, that has a lot of、uh, simple carbohydrates in it. So white bread and products that include the same type of flour as you have in white bread, so things like bagels or pretzels or that sort of thing. Now these give you a quick fix. But they'll deplete your long-term energy reserve. So eating something that's high in sugar will give you a quick fix, a quick boost of energy. But over the long term, it's going to deplete your energy reserves. And the reason for that is that your body has to use up energy to metabolize these foods. So even though immediately you might get, you know, a quick sugar rush. Over time, your body then has to take away energy from other functions to actually digest all this food and to get the all the goodness and the nutrition out of it. And there isn't a great deal of goodness or nutrition in it. Eating foods out of season also causes problems, and you know this is a big problem because we tend to eat the same type of foods all year round. And generally, the way that, as I was saying in the first video, our Stone Age ancestors lived, they ate the foods that were in season because they didn't have any way of preserving them. But nowadays, we can eat the same stuff all year round, and so you're eating things that you don't need. You're giving your body reserves of things that it doesn't need at times when it doesn't need them. So, for example, you don't need to eat fatty foods in the summer. And what happens then is, of course, because you don't actually need it, your body will store the fat, and that leads to obesity. And obesity can be very tiring because your heart has to work harder to、uh, pump the blood round your enlarged body. And of course, we don't really need a lot of fatty foods anyway. Not in modern Western life, because years ago people needed lots of fat to burn off the calories to keep warm in the winter. Well, of course, in our modern heated homes, our modern heated offices, and travelling in our modern heated cars or trains or buses, and wearing our heavy winter clothing, we stay warm all year round. So we don't really need a lot of fat. So you don't really need to eat fatty foods, really at any time. But you certainly don't need to eat fatty foods in the summer. So what are the best foods that you can eat? Well, basically, you want to eat low glycemic—that's low or complex carb foods—and this includes things like fructose, which is fruit sugar, beans. You can eat kidney beans, or you can eat lentils, soybeans, that sort of thing. You can eat small seeds. I'm talking things like sunflower seeds, flax, pumpkin seeds, etc. Most whole intact grains are low glycemic. Most vegetables are low glycemic, and most sweet fruits are low glycemic. And if you're living in the UK or some other countries, you'll be familiar with campaigns that say that you must eat your five a day, your five portions of fruit or vegetables a day, because that is enough to give you the energy that you need. You also want to eat lean 
meats. So that means、uh, meat that's not very fatty. It means things like chicken, like lean pork, lean beef. You don't want to have that really thick wedge of fat around the、uh, edge of your steak, for example. That that sort of thing. Lean meats are much better for you than fatty ones. And you want to have more protein and fewer carbohydrates. For example, have an egg for your breakfast rather than a bagel, because the protein that you'll find in the egg is going to be much better for you than the carbohydrates in the bagel. You also want to make sure that you get enough vitamins or vitamins, depending on how you care to pronounce it. And when it comes to vitamins, you want to make sure you get enough vitamin B, particularly vitamin B12. And you also want to make sure that you get enough vitamin C, which you can generally get from citrus fruits. You also want to eat more soluble fiber. Now, soluble fiber slows the rate at which your body absorbs sugar, and in so doing, it evens out energy levels, so that you're not going to get these sort of sugar spikes、uh, that you find when you eat a lot of junk food that's high in sugar. Eating、uh, more soluble fiber will actually slow that rate down, so it evens it out. You also want to eat plenty of berries. Berries contain lots of antioxidants, which can help boost your energy. And you also want to eat plenty of yogurt or yogurt, depending on how you care to pronounce it again. And you want to get some that has live cultures, because these live cultures. Will keep your digestive system clean, and it helps your body absorb all the nutrients from food. And in so doing, of course, it makes sure that you have plenty of energy because your body can process that food more effectively. And you also want to eat in tune with your body's natural rhythm. So you want to eat a hearty breakfast because that's going to boost your already high energy levels. You want to eat a light lunch because you don't want your body to have to、uh, use its energy to digest a really heavy lunch, because, as we saw in the last video, your energy levels are going to start to trail off quite rapidly after lunchtime anyway. And you want to eat a nutritious dinner, a nutritious dinner that's going to enable your body to process all the nutrients while you sleep overnight. And it's fine to have a snack from time to time, but you want to make sure that it's a healthy snack. So I'm talking things like nuts, fruits, grains, chocolate in moderation. Chocolate has lots of things in it.、Uh, there's caffeine and all sorts of other good stuff in chocolate, but you don't want to have too much of it because caffeine can not be very beneficial for your energy levels. I'll talk a bit more about that in the next video. Of course, obviously, if you have an allergy to things like nuts or to chocolate, then you want to skip those. You want to avoid certain snacks, and unfortunately, these are the sort of things that tend to get sold in vending machines or get sold、uh, in newsstands and places like that. Places that you might frequent when you go and find a snack when you're a bit hungry at work. So we're talking things like chips or potato-based snacks, crackers because they have the same sort of flour in them as white bread, and anything that's got processed sugar. You know, it's going to give you a bit of a sugar boost, but as I was saying earlier on, that is going to be harmful in the long term. So, although it might make you feel a bit more energetic, a bit more alert to begin with,、uh, over time、uh, you're not going to feel the benefits from it. Of course, eating is only one thing that we do to stay alive. Drinking is another, and I'll talk about that. In the next video.